Hey guys, how are you going? In today's video, I'll be showing you how to use JavaScript proxy objects. Okay, so essentially a proxy object is going to be acting as a layer between operations on a target object. Okay, so it can be useful for things like validation or adding custom behavior. So for example, you can use it to create a setter for a target object. Okay, so let's just say you have an object which is supposed to represent a person and then you are trying to set the age of that person. You can use a proxy object to say when you're trying to set the age, if the age is less than zero, for example, then we're going to say no, you can't set the age. So that's just one example of the usage, but let's go inside the text editor right here and begin exploring JavaScript proxy objects. So Firstly, down here, we're going to be creating an object and this object is going to be our target object. And we're going to be, uh, we're going to be calling this game settings because our object is supposed to represent game settings uh, or just settings for some sort of game. Okay, and then down here with this empty object, we're going to be creating a game settings proxy. And a proxy is essentially just a wrapper around your game settings object. So we can say const, so const game settings proxy is equal to, and then you can just say new proxy just like this to create a new proxy. So as we can see right here, we're expecting two arguments. The first one is going to be the target object. In this case, our target object is going to be the game settings object. So passing through game settings just like that. Okay. And then the second argument here, this is where you specify your custom behavior in the form of methods. Okay. So I might just leave this part out for now. I'll just pass through an empty object. We're going to be getting back to this very shortly, but for now, let's just go down here and say console.log. We're going to be logging out game settings proxy dot Let's just say difficulty. So let's imagine our game, um, our game settings has a difficulty, for example, you know, uh, easy, medium, or hard. Let's save this here and then refresh the browser. In the console, we get undefined. Okay, so by default, if your property does not exist in your object, you get undefined. This is pretty standard behavior. But as we can see, we actually called this on the proxy. So um, essentially, um, our call to the get, sorry, um, our request for this property um, has gone through the proxy straight to the game settings object. If I was to say here difficulty and set this to be easy and then go down here again and refresh, we can see it now says easy. So that's working perfectly fine. So now how do we use the proxy to define custom behavior for um, this attempt at retrieving this property or this get? Okay, so we can do it inside here. Essentially in this object, you define a bunch of methods which are going to run uh, when you perform certain operations. So let's just go on the MDN documentation. And by the way, these methods are called traps. So let's go on documentation right here. As we can see, these are a bunch of methods we can use um, for our handler object. So we're going to be using the get trap right here. Okay, um, so let's go back inside the text editor right here and define a function called get. I'm going to be using arrow functions right here. So let's just go and create one of those. So now essentially when I say get this difficulty, it's going to be running this instead. Okay, so this function right here uh, has two parameters. We have the object itself. So O, then we have property. So of course you can name these whatever you like. They are simply just uh, parameters. Okay. But the first parameter here is going to refer to the target object. So in this case, O is going to refer to game settings. Okay. And then lastly here, or secondly, the property is going to refer to the property in which you are trying to retrieve. So um, if I was to say console.log and pass through O and then also log out the property parameter. Okay. And then leave this the way it is. Let's save this here and refresh. And as we can see in the console, we get an empty object. Then we get difficulty. Okay. So the first one here is going to be our O parameter, the target object. The second one is going to be the property in which I am trying to retrieve. Okay. So now uh, you can of course uh, 
define your custom behavior right here and whatever you return is going to be what you get for the get so for example if I was to record uh, sorry if I was to re uh, return decode here and then save this and refresh we can see now we get decode in the console as a result of doing game settings proxy dot difficulty also keep in mind that if I was to say game settings and then dot difficulty we're gonna still get undefined let's save this and refresh and we get undefined and decode since this did not run through the proxy okay so now for example let's say using the get uh, trap you want to say um, if my property does not exist on my object then I'm going to want to return decode instead of uh, simply just undefined so we can say return and then put a condition here we can say if the property is in the object then we're going to actually return the value so we're going to say O and then get the property at this um, sorry get the value at this property right here so that's the standard behavior otherwise let's return decode so previously um, this would behave as being undefined okay by default but of course making it decode if I was to try and get difficulty now it's going to give me decode but if I was to um, let's just say I set the uh, let's just say date equal to 2019 12 I don't know 30 for example then I try and get dates dates gonna work this is gonna return decode let's save this and refresh and we get the date then we get decode instead of undefined for our undefined property that's just one example of how to use it okay of course uh, this can be completely custom um, to your own liking and I guess that is the beauty of our proxy objects so now let's have a look at um, another common one and that is gonna be the setter okay so let's just minimize this right here and then if I maybe I'll, I won't do that but let's go down here now and uh, define a set trap so using the set function right here we can do a very similar thing this one right here is gonna have our target it's gonna have our property and it's gonna have our value okay so um, the first two here are the exact same, but now your value is the value you are trying to set. So let's go down here and we're going to be setting, uh, let's just do game settings proxy dot difficulty is equal to, let's make it easy. Okay. Then we can say console.log game settings proxy dot uh, difficulty. Okay. And let's just leave it the way it currently is. Save this and refresh and we get decode okay so essentially even though we set it, uh, sorry even though we set it uh, using dot difficulty because we didn't actually set it inside here on the property sorry on the object itself it is not going to work okay if I was to say game settings and then difficulty equals easy try it again we get easy but that is because we did not go through the proxy um, in order for this to work I need to say O property equal to value of course value is going to be this right here easy so now I'm force sorry I'm forcing it to set the property on the object and now this should work and I should see easy in the console let's try again and we get easy right there okay but anyway uh, that's going to be the last thing we're going to be doing um, in between here we're going to be doing some validation so we're going to be saying if you're trying to set the difficulty on the game so we're going to be saying if your property is equal to difficulty okay if that's spelled correctly I think it is difficulty difficulty yep so if your property is difficulty and your value is not easy medium or hard so we can say essentially just not then we can say easy uh, medium or hard Okay, then we're going to be using dot includes and then value dot to lowercase. Okay, so a bit of a long line here. So basically we're just saying, okay, so if you're if you're trying to set difficulty and it is not easy, medium, or hard once it's been lowercased, then we're gonna say, you know what, you can't set that difficulty, so we're gonna throw. We're gonna say throw new error difficulty 
is invalid. Of course, you don't need to throw an error. Um, you may instead want to set a default or not do anything at all. But in my case, I want to say throw. You can't set that difficulty. Let's save this here and refresh the browser and nothing happens, of course, because this is actually easy, one of these valid values. If I was to say, let's just say super easy, this will not work. Let's try it again, refresh, and we get the error right there. Your difficulty is invalid. So that's an example of how to use a proxy to create a setter. Okay, so once again, um, it leaves you room to define some custom behavior. Uh, the last trap I want to show you here is going to be the has trap. So let's go down here and we're going to say has. And for this one, it's going to be the same as the get, o, and then property. This one right here is going to be a trap for when you use the in. Okay, so let's go right here. This one's, uh, this one's going to be returning true or false. So we're going to be saying, you know what, if you want to check if the difficulty property is in the game settings proxy. So let's go down here and we're going to firstly, um, we're going to be setting the difficulty. Okay, and then we're going to, we're going to be going down here and we're going to be saying if... Um, if the property difficulty is in game settings uh, proxy dot difficulty, so I might just remove this real quickly here to see the standard behavior. Let's save this and refresh, and we see we don't get that working. Let's go back here and make this easy. Try it again, and as we can see here, we get maybe not. Um, ah. Just like that. Sorry, my, uh, my mistake. Let's try it again one last time, hopefully. Uh, refresh this, and we see that we get true. So essentially, we're saying the difficulty, the property is inside the game settings proxy object. Okay, so this has allows you to change that behavior. So let's say right here, you know what, if you're trying to get the difficulty property or you're trying to see if it's inside the object, I'm going to say if your property is equal to difficulty, we're going to return false. Otherwise, we're going to return true. You know what? My mistake. It needs to be return property in O. Okay, so this is going to default to the standard behavior in JavaScript. Okay, so property in O. Otherwise, if up here, if this passes, if you're trying to check this condition right here, we're going to get false, even though technically it actually is inside the game settings object. Let's save this here and then refresh and we get false right there. Of course, coming from our custom condition right up here. So, of course, once again, define your own behavior inside here to make things work how you need them to work. And that is the JavaScript proxy object. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you later.